Hello, my name is Caitlin Bruce, and I'm a recipient of the Zona Murray Heart for Art Scholarship, for which I am very grateful. It is so meaningful to know that there are people out there that value art and cultivating it in younger generations. The assistance that the scholarship provides me is a huge help in pursuing my educational plans, and it reinforces the idea that art is important and meant to be grown and shared. In order to continue pursuing my art education, I am planning on attending UCSD this coming fall and majoring in speculative design. Through this major, I will be able to continue learning more about art, photography, history, culture, and more, and how they combine to create a well-rounded designer, which hopefully I will be one day. For my submissions, I chose three photographs that show my growth as an artist and photographer. My first image is of the Oceanside Pier and was one that gave me the inspiration to grow my skills by starting out with success in a more straightforward piece. It was through this image that I fell in love with the digital editing aspect of photography, enhancing the already beautiful scene to align it with my artistic vision. My second piece is an example of me branching out towards creating my own scene to photograph through props, models, and other in-camera techniques. I combined these new skills with my previously established ones to create the artwork featuring a puppet-like scene that tells the story of control and emotion. Through my third photograph, I further built on the skills of intentionally creating meaning and storytelling while also exploring in-depth em editing and image combination. It tells a story through my grandmother holding an Ace of Hearts card with a younger model holding dead ballet point shoes edited onto the center of the card where the heart would have been. This image is meant to convey my grandmother's story of evolution through her hobbies and how they relate to her age and connect to the wider theme of the fluidity of life. Once again, I would like to say thank you to this foundation for their contribution to my art education and for their enthusiastic support of the arts that allows students and artists like me to pursue their passions. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sienna Lawrence, and I'm so excited to be a recipient of the Zona Murray Art Scholarship Award. And I'm so sad that I can't be there in person to celebrate, but I'd love to give a huge thank you to everybody that was involved and just everybody that looked at my art. And I'd also love to thank my grandma and my art teacher, Mrs. O'Neill, because they have helped me with my art for many, many years. <laughs> so in the fall, I am planning to attend UCLA and continue my studies of art at the UCLA School of Art and Architecture. And while I'm there, I want to continue working on themes like sustainability and the environment uh, and fashion, which are all themes that are present in my work in high school and also the work that I submitted for this award. So I actually have two of the pieces that I submitted. Um, this first one is titled The Hall and it kind of focuses on thrifting as an activity. It's something my friends and I love to do to be more sustainable, and we just love to upcycle old pieces um, and find pieces for each other, and overall it's just a fun activity that can also help us be more sustainable. Um, and then my <clears throat> second piece is titled The Hands Behind Our Clothes, which I do not have with me right now, but it's a commentary on um, 
the hands behind our clothes and the unsustainable practices that a lot of companies have of underpaying their workers and um, just the environmental impacts of unsustainable fashion production. And a lot of the time, the hands behind our clothes are overlooked. And then this third piece is about the overconsumption of fashion. Um, this is based on a photo I took, so it's not an exaggeration. There really was this many clothes in a thrift store. <laughs> um, and I think overconsumption of fashion is often overlooked, um, but it does have devastating environmental impacts and is really important. So um, we just have so much clothing already produced that shopping sustainably should be so easy. And um, yeah, it's something that I'm really passionate about. Um, and those are my pieces. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone involved. Thank you for caring about female artists. It means a lot to me. And I can't wait to continue my studies at UCLA. Bye. Hi, my name is Erin Trinity Mingsa, and I am one of the recipients of the Zona Murray Art Scholarship. Now, this scholarship was really meaningful to me because as a dancer, we don't normally get recognized as both a sport athlete and an artist, but we're both. And art is a big part of dance because you create all these beautiful shapes and motions that people can enjoy. And it's kind of the same as any other art form, except for the fact that it's on the body and it's movement. So this scholarship helped me showcase that. And I did that through a solo called Natural Disaster, which is one that I choreographed myself. It is about the emotion of love and how it can be many different things and how it can be a whirlwind of emotions and how basically comparing a natural disaster to love is kind of a beautiful but destructive thing sometimes. And I was able to show that through my solo, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I'm going to UCI next year, or University of California, Irvine, to major in dance. So I hope you enjoy and thank you so much. They say love is a natural disaster. A roller coaster that we just want to go faster. And they say love is a thunderstorm of hope. And that we all just slowly climb up the rope. And they say love is a tornado of emotions, sometimes even a tsunami deep in the ocean. And they say love is a mid-spring hurricane. A whirl of fantasized emotions that drive me insane. So I take shelter under this thick concrete while the heavy rains went on above. The heavy rains of love, I took shelter because I didn't have the rations, the passions, the reactions to deal with it. And I didn't have the actions to seal in it. So I dug myself deep into the dirt and allowed myself to give in to the hurt. I allow the paint to dry as I cry. I allow the drawing to sit. The pen leaves my hands, and I become Leonardo da Vinci. If he 
was young and just wanted to feel edgy and I become Picasso if Picasso was sad and often felt alone and I become Michelangelo but as if he was pushed beyond his breaking point like the lead in his pencil as he presses too hard on the desk that he hates it's a utensil maybe if all these artists weren't great and weren't successful had hate for themselves and were lost in a lake of dead hope then I could be them but girl I lost my pen And if I could, I would hold you in my arms one last time. And if I could, I would put us together like lemons and limes. And if I could, I would find the love I'm seeking after. But remember what they say about love. It's a natural disaster. Hello everyone, my name is Nora Trenzo, and I'm so honored to be receiving this award and to be recognized at the Heart for Art celebration. A lot of the time when a young person expresses interest in pursuing the arts, the people around them can be very discouraging about their goals and what they want to do with their future, and it's awards like these, and especially the people who create them and back them, that really help to put into perspective your value as a creator and especially the things that you are able to do with your future. 
which is very important to young people and especially young women. Um, and I'm proud to say that I have gotten accepted into the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, SAIC, um, and I am majoring in fine arts and minoring in education so that I can impact the future and become an art educator. Um, and along the way, I will be pursuing any opportunities I can to further myself as an artist and as an educator. All three of the pieces that I submitted were pieces that, in the rough draft phase, I wasn't super confident on my ability to perfectly express what I was envisioning for the piece. Uh, but by the end of it, they became some of my favorite pieces. Um, the first one, my legacy painting, um, I had to think about what kind of impression I wanted to leave on my peers and how I wanted to visualize that and what motifs reflected who I was as a person. Um, and for my second piece, uh, that was for a final assignment, I call it the Night at the Opera, we had to take a artist that we really liked and study how they created their art, the motifs that they would use, um, and replicate their work, but put a twist on the subject matter. So I chose Alphonse Mucha, and a lot of his art, he does beautiful line work, but um, a lot of his subjects were women and seemed to be like goddess-like women. Um, and so to put a twist on that, I wanted to make it more modern in subject matter. And so I, I chose uh, to paint a woman going to a night at the opera, uh, but while still using some of his patterns and line motifs. Um, and for my third piece, that was for my AP art portfolio. Um, and for that one, I had to use a lot of sculptural techniques, which isn't my strongest ability. Um, but the most important thing was I wanted it to evoke emotion in the viewer. Um, it heavily relied on the feeling that the viewer got from it, um, which was very hard to do. But in the end, I feel like it captured exactly the feeling I wanted to create. Um, so those are my pieces. Um, thank you so much to Joanne Bull and the Sorrel Optimist International. And thank you to everyone who attended the Heart for Art celebration today. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you.